Plug it in and get ready to rock. Sit your ass down with the hands of the clock. We're Renegade Pineapple, so sublime. Like, comment, subscribe. It's time! Yeah! Hello! And welcome back to Control. So in between episodes, I went and defeated all the random mold people that are running amok around this building. I also found a couple of notes, but none of them are like super pertinent to what's going on. They're more like little flavour bits, so I don't really feel the need to go through those. So let's just go straight to Dr. Underhill. I found the host. They won't be spreading any more mold. They did! Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitise the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You know, it sound very optimistic. Hmm. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible tunnel. killing a lot of fucking people, you idiot. Oh, that's it? Okay. Thanks for the information. I really thought she'd be like, just go pop down into the pit again. There'll be something else to murder the you. I sound like Mary Poppins, but I'm obsessed with mold and you dying. So, if I'm not going to be doing that, and I, well, I don't know what that was, but I thought she was going to lead me into something else, then why not let's do all of Arisha's friends that have been corrupted? Because, like Cho here, who's now dead, uh... All of Arisha's friends have been turned into bloody corrupted hiss. So we're going to just go around and kill all them quickly. I was going to leave it out, but I thought, hey, a fight's a fight. They might, some of these might be quite interesting. Pretty sure one of them turned into one of those dragon thingies that I don't really like. So let's leave all of those in. I'll just quickly go around and beat them all off one by one. To say the words beat them all off. That's not the way to phrase that. Kill them all off one by one, but not beat them off. We'll beat ourselves off in victory after we've done. Oh, here's another one. And they're the flying type. So like Pokemon this game. <laughs> there's ones with rocks floating around them. There's flying types. Ah, oh, good dodge. Bully for you, boy. Bully for you. Come, don't go, go. Right, don't go so high up I can't attack you. That just makes the fight boring. Don't hide behind a thing. Uh, is there a way I can get up there so that they can stop fucking doing that? If I use this pipe. Just delicately position myself there. And then... Hey, shortcuts. Where are you now? Where are you going to hide now? I'm the one with the high ground, Anakin. You are my brother, and now I will murder you. Get out of the sky. There you go, there's two. Do I, actually, I don't need to go over, they're dead. I just We just assume that I took a thing from them as a token. Why is that shortcut fucking locked? That's mean. So over in Blackrock Processing. Oh no, it's a big one. And they're called Hazard. That makes sense. They are a hazard. Oop. You can have that back, friend. I don't really want it. Ooh, even with the big guys, just chuck a forklift at them. That's all it takes. Big old forklift hits them and then explodes. That does so much damage. Makes my life much easier. On to the next one. So, nice and nearby and using a shortcut that I didn't go through before. Around in the Atlas Chamber where there should be the next one. All of those guys are just standing around. Oh, it's a Rock-type Pokemon. Back off. Have a thing. And another thing. One more thing for you. And chargey chargey boom. And a chargey chargey boom. I love that my uh, throwing ability comes back by the time I've done my couple of shots with this. Another guy ran in, right? I'm sure I saw another guy in the background. No? Did they die when I killed them? There was definitely another hiss ran in, though. Right, we're good. I think I got one more. Yeah, one more in the Black Rock Quarry as well. Which might be the most difficult one given that it'll, there'll be loads of astral spikes knocking about. Oh, hello. 
How did I miss this? And this. Okay, this is new. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream like hell. <laughs> Inside, they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it led back to the oldest house. Some two Yeah, but what do the rest of them do? Now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the bureau. Somehow the two places they became in tune to each other. The the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Oh. Beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. Oh, okay. So it isn't just like a place that it takes you. Like the oldest house. But you can hear other stuff is happening. I wonder if that ties into like Alan Wake in some way or something. Was there like a hotel place like that in Alan Wake? That would be an interesting way to link those two together. Since there's clearly been a few things to link them. Or their other game, uh, Quantum Break? Was that what the other one was? Maybe it's something to do with that. That'd also be interesting. Back in the Black Rock Quarry. It all seems nice and dangerous. Can I get up there please? That would be nice. Oh, oh. Yes, through here. Then I'm away from the astral spikes. We could just run around this direction. Hey, nice. Got me away from them. Where am I? Where did this door go? My map won't load in. Please, map. Oh, fuck. How, how did you... Oh, this is the one I'm looking for. Thanks, Thompson. I was going to say, why were you following me? Because I needed to murder you. Okay, back in Central Executive, now that I've killed all of Arish's, well, colleagues and friends. Is there a door up there I haven't opened? Is that why there's a red light? I can't fly in here. God damn it. Oh, yeah, there is. And it's like a level one door. I could have done so early on. Our document. There's a lots of little bits hidden around this area just because you're going to come back here all the time and it seems nuts that I haven't gone through and found all of them. I bet there's a bunch more. But let's talk to Arish now. Here are the pouches. Yeah, it's not good. Six. Well, that's all of them. I'm counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but... That's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. He really seems like a nice guy. It's really to ask what's inside. What's really inside? Sad that this didn't Too late return now. anyone. The story's confidential, but uh, well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So uh, the bureau had heard rumors of a uh, werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Cool. They sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on. And it wasn't. About to tell me werewolves are real. Hell yeah. Item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, Aha! I remember the occasion we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks, just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the Rangers? Hmm. I thought I could do more good here. And somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? No. I'm sad for him. He's a good guy. Also, I like putting uh, werewolves as being an anomaly, even though werewolves obviously come from... Hey there. You can go mad from just straight up staring at the moon. That's what lunacy is. That's where werewolves come from. If you really look, if you think about it, look into it, it all makes a lot of sense, really. So we've only got one more thing to do on the side missions, then we're going back to just story time again. But we haven't done the jukebox still. And it's right goddamn here, so fuck it, let's have a go, we're already there. Ooh. Are we in the quarry? Yeah, so it sends you to random locations, that's what it said the jukebox does. Will it show me on my map? Unmapped, okay cool. Or maybe this is like its own little area that just looks very similar. I feel like I should also explain the werewolf thing. <laughs> so lunacy and lunatics, both of those come from Luna as in the moon. 
And the way that the madness of staring at the moon is described is very similar to werewolf-like behaviour. Um, and obviously, werewolves only come out in a full moon. So it all makes sense as being a thing that it's just people suffering a mental illness from an obsession with the moon and that's where the idea of werewolves come from. This is weird. It is like the Black Rock Quarry, but it just... They've obviously made it slightly different. Something about it feels off from what that area was like. There's also just... I think it's the purple, purple lighting. That maybe makes it feel a little different. The formation. Hmm. Stars. That certainly looks like. Oh wow. Quarry. Yes, I should look for those rangers. Travel through, oh, wait, oh, travel through the active gate. Oh, wow. They must have gone that way. This has turned into Crash Bandicoot 2. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot. Can I go through all of these? Oh, is it going to form a path for me? Oh, thanks, Rox. That's real swell of you. <laughs> Really help me out here, Rox. You're good peeps. I appreciate you. Sometimes you just need someone to lend your hand, build bridges, and then rocks do it <laughs> instead of people. Magic space rocks. Mm hmm. Well, it feels spacey just because of how much stars you can see. There's just less pollution. This is what everywhere might look like if we weren't fucking constantly polluting everywhere all the fucking time. Yo! There's a little base here. Someone set up some shit. Hello? I've got two chairs and a phone. That's not weird. What were they doing? A fucking interview or making prank calls? This area is just weird in how empty it is. Feels like there's no hiss here. This might be a decent place for everyone to retreat to. Actually, I bet there's going to turn out to be some fucking bullshit here. Ah, a body! And a pot. Oh, a tape. They're all dead. dead. These things killed them all. There are so many... Get out. Oh. The hiss. They're here. Yeah, just when I said it was safe and there were no hiss here, it'd all be great. All good, all fine. Nothing bad could happen, and here they are. Tabled. Suck it. Oh, you're level six. You guys are quite strong. Not that strong. I mean, I'm still going to kick the absolute shit out of you. Especially since I picked up a thing that makes it every kill I get slightly stronger. So that's going to become useful. Die. Oh, how did that hit me? That clearly was going to hit the rocks. I even backed away a little to make sure it would. Sometimes I feel like they manage to get shots off that are kind of unrealistic. Where, like, they're either already completely screwed or, like, I've shot them and that would make their aim fuck up. They somehow seem to survive everything. Oh, why did it just go black? I was doing well. I was totally fine. I wasn't like overwhelmed or anything. Guess the song ended. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, so it's a time limit thing. So you only disappear for the length of a song. That's actually really cool. So if I wanted to be in there for longer, I wonder if I could just put in more tokens, play more songs in a row, then I could stay there for a bit. I wonder if there's more to find out there or if it's like just a good way to 
get more experience stuff to get more like random drops and points to spend on things. Arish, there, you you there I am. You find those rangers, the formation. I, I found one corpse. But it's not good news. So why didn't they come back? Oh, just because they died, I guess. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. I guess it just doesn't teleport back dead bodies. It's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is okay. we cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh -huh. So maybe I could go through the other gates and get different stuff. And clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. Okay. So oh, it's like a on the formation. a gauntlet system. Take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful. I mean, that's not really a great idea. Okay, thanks. So you gave me you gave me two tokens. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. But maybe I can get more or uh, constructed construction at control points, so I can make more and then try and do a lot more stuff in there. So should I do that now, or should I just start up my next mission on the main story? I mean, it's not a mission mission, so maybe it's like a side thing. Maybe it's not really story-based, so let's just carry on with the normal stuff. Maybe I'll do the jukebox on my own time if it's just to collect extra shit. Uh, continue towards the ordinary AWE area. I can fast travel there. See you in a sec. So, back in where the turntable is, we're going to the ordinary AWE, which has got its own frickin' area. It's so important. I mean, it's so part of our backstory and part of this game. Why can I see something through this wall? There's obviously another room there that I don't know about. Spent a long old time doing side missions, though. I went quite a while without picking any up, and then it felt like the game gave me, like, six at once. Or a lot of them chained together. Seems like, uh... They should have spread out a bit more, maybe they're supposed to, it's just the way I happen to pick them up. We're back on to main story times now. Dylan's probably spent a lot of time in that box like, wow, she's really not that interested in what happened to us. Oh, why are you? Why are you in here? Can't even see the fucking thing. There you go. quite close quarters for you to show up. At least I'm like a lot stronger now so going through the main story might not be so difficult because that was a lower level than what I just did in a side mission. Is that a picture of a... Is that a picture of a window to see outside? That's super fucking weird. It looks like those little extra narrow windows like they have on castles for archery so that you could shoot out of the window while it being quite hard to shoot you back. What's well, I've got a dope outfit. It's cool to continue <laughs> into the main story where I look extra fucking cool. Ooh. Does this go outside? You don't keep a helicopter somewhere you can't take it out. I need one for each side. Or maybe more than that, even. Yeah, look, there's extra ones there. So there's a lift. Is that one behind it? Yes, it is. Is there a second one on this side? No, let's just go for this one, because I know where this one is. There must be... It seems weird for there to be three, but maybe there are three. Oh, hello. If it is three, I've got them. Good shot. Is that it? They're still red. There are more. Let's go through this door before I take the lift. Ah, more power. 
Not that I know where I want this for. That's a fire extinguisher. That's not what I'm looking for, really. Oh, to do and all those make it so that the lift would work. Would the lift not have worked if I'd gone over to it before? It still seems like they're to open that door and they go green at some point. We sure there's not another one around? Oh, this is a plane on top. Okay, this isn't intended to fly. I was seeing that at a weird angle where I thought that was a, a helicopter blade sticking out the side of a helicopter. Now it seems to be two planes. Oh no, is it just one plane that's really weirdly shaped and broken? I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this shit. Let's just take the lift. Why do I have an extra energy block? Battery cube. Alright, such for the slide projector. Still doing the same? No. Too close to where I'm showing up. Don't like that at all. You can fuck off. A fucking exploding crab people showing up in this close to you while you're fighting other people is too much. Fire extinguisher. Ah, rock guy. Now really, I need you to be on your own so I can use pierce. Oh no, you're quite weak. I could probably just pierce you to death right now. Ah, oh, damn it. I was just out of time. Oh, there, there, now, now, now. Alright, okay, they're down. Alright, that makes the rest of the fights easier. Document down there. Airplane evaluation order. Okay, so that was about the plane. Saying that it came from Cincinnati related to an AWE. I don't know if it said where Ordinary was. But it felt like that's why it was being blanked out. But it could be related to anything. It did also say that it came through uh, the New York Underground, whatever that's called. So, and things about being covered up by ghost trains and things living in the underground. But it's really just a system that the control bureau uses to transport stuff to the building. Which is why you get the big turntable, because that's them bringing stuff in through there. Seems kind of sensible. Hello, old bean. If you're not going to move, I'm just going to pop you on in the head. There we go. Good chap. I'll take this. Ah, uh, Audrey AWE Stage 1A. Hmm. Open, open that up. So this is going to be related to everything, so let's have a look at a little look at this. Okay, so this, this is very relevant. Let's give this one a little read. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper. I suppose that's just first slide because they don't know an order. They're just saying the first slide that they looked at and documented as being the first slide and that there's potentially an actual order, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. DF. It's DF. Hmm... Can't remember anyone's name being DF. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there. Oh, Dylan Faden. I'm a fucking idiot. DF Dylan Faden, because it's JF for Jesse Faden. So that's an interview with him and then them listening in on me in therapy. Okay, right. So that's more important now. So, and we're seeing maybe the same slide in different ways. So, dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. And that's related to the same slide, I'm assuming. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. No, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, most likely Tom Barlow, missing as well. And his gang, Freddy... Likely Freddie Bartwell also missing, and Hugo, no one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. So that, And they have all gone missing since, so are they saying that maybe maybe Dylan took them all out for some reason? Or maybe they just, the incident affected everyone. 
we brought Neil to the dump to play, which Dylan said. So maybe Jesse and Dylan found the slide projector, but then showed it to other kids, and maybe some of the other kids are trapped in the slide projector. That'd be fucked up. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated house. Oh, that's the information they got from it, is that that's a slide that they don't have. And that's maybe why there's potentially kids trapped there. Oh, fuck. So maybe we'll keep finding things that tell us more about each slide. Yes, it's America Overnight! You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years shining a light in the shadows. We're going to listen to it on here, because it's a bit clearer. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, brother? The men in the suits. <laughs> They told me it was an industrial accident, but this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. Ah. Oh. certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, caller. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said, but that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. It may be 2 a.m., but we're still a family show. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but... It wasn't. I went there. The people are gone. Oh, the whole town was supposed to be destroyed. So the population of an entire town disappeared. Oh, so that's why all of the kids were missing. The whole me, town's worth of people are gone. No salvation written anywhere. I'm... I, I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23. A yeah. village called Hor Verde. More than 60 so... people just up and left. Because the, the presenter works for control, he's trying to the move it onto something else. Abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller, I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing too. It's time for a short break. Hang so he just shifts the focus away from what the person's trying to say to try and cover it up. That's clever. Ordinary summary. Let's give that a quick look before I watch whatever darling video that is up the back. Okay, so this is just like an overview of everything that happened in Ordinary, saying that all of the adults went missing, so not necessarily the children, but that's obviously going to put the children in like a shitty position. It also says that Dylan and Jesse found it, and after causing... Well, it implies that they caused everything that happened. It says that they... Then, when Control arrived, took them to the projector, but most of it was burned, except for a couple of slides. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, the slide projector was still there, but most of the slides had been destroyed. So really, if the adults had gone into the slide projector, then they're trapped because they destroyed the thing that they're in. It also says they then tried to apprehend them, and that's when Jesse escaped, and there were 17 people left in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. So Jesse may be the only person who got out of Ordinary after the incident. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world. The box. In the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects. A gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So... Clearly, humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. So the archetypes thing goes back to how you and stuff from quite early in the game. ...for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. Yeah. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. That's not the time for that. Get off screen. <laughs> Fucking listening to a video. Get off. 
go away. So here's the other note that I just picked up while that video was playing. So this is stage 4A. So there is two and three we have not got. Jesse and me followed, oh, so this is obviously Dylan. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from the town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. What? This is witness testimonies. This isn't like him explaining a dream. This is obviously a thing that he actually said. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Because they said that they saw, like, some kind of deity within it. So maybe the hand is what helps them see... Oh, the deity is Polaris, isn't it? And potentially something else. But maybe the hand is what showed them Polaris. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. There we go. She just needed to read the next line. It's because she was doing stars at school. Also, Jesse named her Polaris, so that wasn't what the thing is telling them. It's just that's what they named it. Additional slide designated hand is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation Dog Neil. Let's hope we find old Dog Neil in there. So I'm going to leave it there for this episode. A lot going on. We're back on case. I can see that there's things to fight there. We'll fight them next time. Goodbye. Oh, no, you've been poisoned. You've got the stink. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You're going to die now without me. <laughs> Only my kisses are the antidote. <laughs>